Hey guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel, man. <laughs> Great to be back, guys, with another interesting video. Uh, well, actually, this is sort of a video series that I've decided to make um, because there's a lot of guys um, wanting me to convert maps for them, you know, from FS19 to FS22. And just to give you guys an idea of the scope of work it is to convert a map, it's not a walk in the park. It actually takes longer to convert a map than to create a new map, believe it or not. <laughs> There's no easy way to do it. That's the only, that's the biggest drawback. And um, I thought, let me make a series on that of a few videos. I actually have done this before, but not in great detail, just like an update video now and then when I did the Ravenport map, you know. So I, I thought, let us do it all together. Stuck, get stuck in, take one map from scratch and make a whole series of it how to convert a map, you know. So so here we go. Let's get stuck in with that. <laughs> so guys, if this is your first time, a warm welcome to you. Uh, just remember, pause the video right now. Hit that subscribe. Uh, it really does help my channel a lot. And I appreciate that, obviously. Great. Okay, guys. So the map that I've chosen to convert is a very difficult map. It's my very first map, map I've made and also I've made uh, like 210,000 million mistakes on that um, because it was my very first map and I'm sure <laughs> any one of you that has made maps before, I'm sure you also have a, a sort of your, your first map reminder of all the mistakes you've made along the way. And you must remember this was still in, in early days, you know, for me uh on on um creating a map you know so i had to learn all the things ah so yeah anyway it's still on on uh, fs19 and um let's get stuck in with that then so my first map was the farm that i grew up on um it's called nevada and it's in south africa believe it or not it's not the nevada desert <laughs> in america <laughs> i believe it or not a lot of guys got confused with that they thought it's nevada in in america you know but it's not it is a farm that i grew up on in nelspruit in south africa so i've made a map of that area it was um, I spent like anyone's first project like a million hours on it, you know, to make it because it's all like a, a work in progress, you know. So anyway, enough jaw flapping. So let's let's get stuck in with that. So what I've done, I've downloaded from my uh, from my website uh, Nevada the Zip. It's the latest version eight of of the map. And what I normally do, guys, is um, just open your editor. Uh, and for that we need to uh, just navigate to the desktop find my editor there we go and then we're going to do a quick conversion of the map in fs22 so i'm going to use editor 904 just to uh, convert the map for us now i want to do this so that i can show you uh, all the how useless the converter is in the first place i've said that a million times i don't know even why they bothered you know <laughs> but there is a tiny bit of privileges to have a converted version of the map right so one once you've opened your uh, version 904 let us just jump in there you're going to go file open mod and this goes for any mod guys if you want to try and convert a mod with with the with the giants editor converting tool that's inside of the editor it's the same thing so i'm going to go to the map there it is i've downloaded it into my d backups and then i'm going to just click open now it's going to ask you for a, a working directory and i'm going to leave it like that i'm going to leave it uh, as as is and then just click ok so it will it will actually first of all unzip the map into that folder there it is it's unpacking and then once it's unpacked it this is going to be a time consuming thing so i'm going to try and um, talk and 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 um, sort of keep you busy while we're waiting type of thing you know <laughs> I'm not going to forward it uh, in time. But anyway, so what it does, and then it's going to ask for you for the FS19 installation directory and all that things. But we'll get to that in a sec. Now, this map, um, it is a huge map. I think the, the unzipped size is probably about 3 gigs. <laughs> so, because, when, uh, you know, I've, I haven't learned the trick of using in-game stuff in those days. You know, it was all like, I've used custom buildings, custom stuff, and external textures, external shaders, and everything in the map, you know. 
And uh, yeah, so obviously uh, the, the map size is very large, but uh, with today's stuff and the nice amount of placeables and textures that's in the game, it is almost unnecessary for you to have something in your map folder. It can all be in game, you know, just the necessary stuff. So I'm going to show you that tricks as well in this whole process. So while this is unpacking, let us quickly just jump into, uh, I want to go to my D folder. Um, we need a flat map for this map. So I'll, you can download one of my flat maps, but I think I've already got some here. Let's just have a look. Um, playable start map, that's a four times. Uh, start map, start map. I think this one here, this one here, test map, start map. This is my start map. Yes, we can use this one. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to copy that, Control C, and directly drop it into my mods folder. Control V, like that, so, and drop it in there. Right, like so, cool bananas. And now I'm just going to rename this whole map to Nevada. Underscore or just Nevada SA, South Africa. ZA is probably what people get confused with the ZA because they got no clue what ZA stands for. Um, it's actually, uh, I think it's Dutch or German for Zuid Africa, you know. <laughs> so, <it's a laughs> so let's stick to the SA because everyone knows South Africa. Um, however, I know in the previous versions of, of Farming Simulator, there was quite a few textures that was called SA, you know, like um, um, Grass SA and whatever. But let's not get stuck into that. So there you go. I've renamed it. And now that we've got our start map here, so let's just leave it as is. Let's just get back to this boy that's wanting our attention. Now it says here, convert the mod. Found mod files from the old farming simulator. Upgrade files automatically using the cloud service. Yes, please, but nothing works as it always as you think it will. But anyway, let's just give it uh, give it its best chance of success. Now, normally, if you want to. Um, I'm just doing this this way um, just to get a converted version of the map because this will be uh, sorted out in the converted version. We're not going to use this version at all. We're just going to sort of um, extract from it and put into our map, you know, that type of thing, if you follow what I'm saying. But I'll show you now as soon as this is done. Um, it's taking long guys because it is a massive map, you know, so I don't want to um, Don't want to interrupt it too much, but we'll see here yeah, when it is going for some more stuff, you know So this is the map but Quick now this was I think we can delete that map Alpine in here. There's our overview This should be blank if we just have a look, yeah, it is still blank the way it should be. So in this process, it, it's going to be nice because now we can take everything from scratch, you know. Um, and if you don't have a flat map, download one of my flat maps. They're all for free there on my website. Um, the links for my downloads is in every video of mine in the description. You can go to my website, link there. and on downloads and then go FS22 and then on FS22 you will find um, that it's there. There we go. So there is, it's still not responding. So you have to just be patient here. Uh, depending on the size of your map, it will take a bit of time because what it's doing now is it's opening every XML. It's converting that XML or trying to convert it. Check with the website if there is a text. Uh, I mean, hello, uh, moddesk, uh, map.xml, hello, shouldn't there be a template for those, you know, those type of things, but there isn't, so <laughs> so it doesn't convert those. I just don't know how these oaks work, but anyway, let's not get uh, negative about the whole process. It's just, uh, in my opinion, if you make a converter, just do a proper job of it or just leave it alone, you know, don't do half a job. And that is exactly what this is. Unfortunately, it's half a job that doesn't work. <laughs> it's never worked. Um, I've never found a map that's converted this way that actually is worthwhile trying to struggle with because the, the millions of problems 
and stuff that there is to sort out after this is just so overwhelming. It is going to take you more time to figure out all the issues than rather just to do a straight con uh, a, a manual conversion like the whole process that I'm going to show you. You know, so yeah, I'm I'm trying to speed it up. Maybe I should mop. I just pause my video here and wait for it to finish. Right, so at a point you're going to get to this where it's wanting your attention again and it gives you a mod migration report. Now in here you'll see it converted the mod disk uh, but I can guarantee you it hasn't done a good job of it but anyway and then it gives you warnings and successes for for some of the XMLs that it converted but uh, let me just show you for interest let's go to added mods curved sheet bond one it says it's converted this um, XML. Okay, so let me just have have a quick browse there. Now, if you go back to your um, directory where where you started from, there is the the unzip file. So it first unzips the map for you because it's in zip format. Another waste of time, by the way. Uh, you could have unzipped it yourself, you know. But anyway, let's just leave it as is. And then the converted map is it's Nevada converted. That will be your map and converted. All right. So what I want to do now is open that file. It says that it's converted uh, curved sheets bond one. So let us go to edit mods, curved sheets, and then bond1.xml bond1.xml where is it yeah now it's converted this now look at this guys this is their way of conversion this xml is not going to work so your bond that you've converted uh, or, or they converted is not going to work look at this here it's all the stuff in green here non-converted elements might require manual conversions or are obsolete <laughs> <laughs> so all they've done here is they've put some store data in it and placement and leveling and the rest they, they edit out you see so that's the way of converting an XML they they uh, they don't convert it the proper conversion will take take this placeable information for you and make everything work properly according to the i3d because the i3d call the XML calls the i3d and then the i3d and the XML is like um the XML defines the I3D, you know, so if the XML is wrong, the I3D won't work. So that is basically it. So pointless operation, guys. Uh, let's see if this is something else here that I can go. F you see here, no template found. Uh, it is, it is ridiculous. Now, by the looks of it, if you look at all the successes and the little bit of warnings there are, it you you would think to yourself, mm, it's it's a it's a good conversion, you know. But uh, <laughs> don't be mistaken, guys. It's a useless operation. Okay, so I've just saved this report just for for the fun, and I'm going to close. And now it's going to ask you to open the mod that you've converted. You just click OK, and now it's going to pull it into Giant's editor. And boy, oh boy, uh, the 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 sad oh, sad reality will sink in <laughs> the moment the map opens, because uh, it is uh, totally ridiculous. You will see now what I mean about all the errors and the things that is broken um, from the conversion process. Now you can try this yourself if you want to. I always do it this way because it is always nice to have a uh, converted map. First of all, you get this thing with the with the ground textures. That is um, something that I've not figured out why it does that, but it definitely has to do with incompatible textures or errors on the textures on the ground and it's only on your fields on the borders of the fields you know uh, where, where it gives us vicious scary lights you know and then your other thing is the glossy terrain the whole terrain is like reflective glossy um, outlook you know so that is definitely that's their way of converting textures you know um, just how they do it anyway I just have a quick browse at the console just to um, sort of make my point clear um, I'm just gonna scroll through I'm not gonna read everyone and just tell you what it is but you can see this is your your nightmare of a con converted map processing processing 
Uh, that went through errors, 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 warning materials, warnings, 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 errors. All of those you need to fix. Now, by, by the tenth one, you're going to be ridiculously um, spent uh, 50 hours on the map by the tenth one, and you're going to end up like I normally do by just chucking the whole thing and doing it the right way, the proper way, which I will show you. So anyway, so there is some, some good to this. So I'm going to just save this map and then close it. Because um, like I said, there is some stuff that has been sort of uh, worked for you, um, which, you can't, which you can use. So let's just keep that in mind. All right. So the Nevada converted map is the one we will be using as a donor and then our new map which is um, this one here. We now named it Nevada SA. This is our new map. All right. So first things first, guys. Um, icons, that's very easy. Normally your icon, you can just drag over. Just make sure it, if you hold your, your mouse on it, it is 256 by 256. It must be 256 by 256. When you open your icon, it should look something like that. This is just what my icon looks like. So I'm just going to copy that, drop it over in there, like so, replace the icon, and there it is. Now the preview is another thing. I've actually made a video on how to create an icon and a preview. So I'm not going to spend like 200 hours explaining how to do that. I'm just going to do it. Uh, so this is the very basics, guys, that we are starting with. So I'm going to grab this one, copy that drop it in here oh before we drop it uh, just grab my tool here and select white as a color make the brush a bit bigger like so that 55 is too small yeah, it's bigger better and just get rid of the the name in there and then um back there to the selection um back here copy uh control c in here control V and drag this down to the bottom now the trick here is guys um, is to have your your preview uh, like just if you look at half like another 10 or 15 percent over and then hold your shift and you just drag the bottom corner until it fills the screen like that you know so just like that and then move it you can move this around a little bit to your to your liking and then just click save because the the preview.dds is already there leave a dxt1 with map maps everything as is because that preview is fine and now when when you open your map this bottom top section is not visible i've got never in my life understand how these guys work you know why they can't have the preview like in fs19 just select a preview because if you if you paint this whole thing it crops your image and it looks horrible but this is the way to do it so just over half pull it up a little bit it make it a little bit bigger and um, don't lose the aspect ratio so hold in your shift and drag to make the picture bigger and then just move it about so that it's just over halfway and you'll see when we load in game later on it will all be fine and then unsafe changes to that i'm not going to save so in here now we have our preview and then the next thing is our uh, if we open up the map itself um i wonder you see the maps map alpine format i don't really like that i kind of like the one where we just have maps and then your all your stuff in there you know so in this point in time it's actually very easy to fix so i'm going to quickly show you how to do that too if you want to want to get don't do this when you have your map already built and all your placeables in here what is india oh this is yeah this placeables aren't used it's on in my um in my map uh, um, the blank map that i've made i've already put for you a whole array of placeables i spent hours and hours creating these placeables from the in games guys these are minimal look at that three meg for a whole animal trader that is everything is in game it's just the r3d that you import and then you can delete it once you've imported the animal trader you can delete this um 
the folder with the animal trader. You don't need it, you know, map anymore. But I've put it in here for you to, to utilize. And then obviously these are just placeables. They are not working things. They all need the need the um, the XMLs to make them work. You know, so the appropriate animal trader if you if you um want the bga to work but this is just placeable so it's not really the working things even guys it's not the working things so it's just placeables that you can import delete this and then it will be in your I map i3d all right so anyways the way to fix that is go control a here control x and drop everything in here control v like so and now the map outpoint should now be empty so you can delete that map outpoint folder all right now the trick is now to grab your map i3d open with notepad plus plus and then everything that is um got map alpine in front will be will need to change so control f we go map alpine like so and fine so there you go so all these uh sorry that's not the dollar data ones but the, if there is ones that is just map alpine, you know. Map alpine, let's have a look. So there's not really anything related. So we are lucky in this case. So if there was anything, you just change the, remove the map alpine from it but in this case there's nothing to worry about and then the other thing obviously your map.xml if you have things like here your sound files so go from the top so the file name will need to change so we're going to remove the map alpine uh, you can unfortunately not use the replace function here because there is dollar data maps map alpine so you're going to have a problem <laughs> so let's not let's not use that and just goes through all the ones that's in your map directory so it doesn't have a dollar data in front you know so just chuck the map alpine uh, and then the map alpine like so there's another map alpine uh, maps map alpine so if there's anyone else mm, I don't see anything else all right so that is for the for the map.xml and i think i'm going to leave that open because if we go back here to the mod desk we have yet to some one or two things that needs to change like that placeables.xml right maps about items all right so we don't have items in this it's fs19 stuff but it is mentioned in the XML or the mod desk rather. All right, so there you go. So that's all the map alpines done. Um, the mod desk you can now obviously modify here. The author, I'm going to call this farmer Bob. And then version number is one. Uh, my mod name, I'll call it Nevada SA. Like so. I wonder if I should put an underscore there. It just makes sense. Um, and I'm just going to copy that. Control C. And then map ID. Control V. Uh, map name. Control V. And in descriptions and stuff we can figure out later on. Alright. So there you go. Great. And that is it guys. That should be it. Let's just open our map. Just to make sure. Just to make sure if there's any errors in you know, I3D, something we've missed or didn't think about. Um, yeah. But normally what's in your I3D folder directory or where the I3D is, if you copy all that over, you shouldn't have a problem. And like I say, this is the right time to do it. But once you've started importing stuff and placeables and that, right, so there's no errors. Wonderful. Good stuff, guys. So now the fun and games begin. And this is a flat map. As you can see, there's nothing on it, nothing in it. And we'll start there from scratch. So I'm just going to save it like that, minimize it, and then let's get stuck in with the conversion process. So the very first thing we want to do in bringing over stuff from the previous map. So we're going to go to Maps Converted. 
find your data folder um, where your weight files and all your other stuff is. So the very first thing we want to bring over is the map dim. The map dim on this one is if you hold your mouse on it, it should uh, it says 1025 by 1025. So that's very important to keep your map dim the same size. So we're going to go. I'm going to go copy that. Control C. Go into the new map. Um, under data we have our map dim. There it is. Now I wonder if this map dim. Yeah, I don't want to replace it. So I'm just going to close that for now. Just click on this. Hold my mouse on that. It is also 1025. So very nice. If it's the same size, wonderful. Um, it. It, it just d definitely just makes a, a world of difference. And now immediately, if you now just bring the map, uh, map them over, the exciting thing already happens. That's your height data for your terrain. So immediately you should have your terrain in the new map. You know, so if we now open the map just for, for the fun of it, we should have our terrain. You see, there it is. All the terrain is already there. I uh, just want to make... Um, Make this thing a bit bigger. Terrain nav speed is eight, so with the plus on your on your numpad, just push this up to like seventy, uh, and then I can right click and move way faster with my shift key. So if I press W key, shift forward, shift W S, I can like move fast, you know. So that, that definitely helps a lot, like so. But anyway, there's our whole terrain height data is already in. Without any problems, let's just have a look if we have any issues in the console. I like to make this thing big, so if there is problems, I can easily see it. As you can see, no errors, no problem. Just save that and close. All right, so that is how simple and easy the terrain is. That's the easiest part of everything, you know. <laughs> All right, now in the... In the um, in the Nevada map, I have multi-fruit, which makes it a bit more of a challenge. So I'm not going to bring over the multi-fruit, but we need to bring over the foliage. And unfortunately, if you look at your map, um, let's go back one level. If you look at your map R3D, if you open this with Notepad++, this is now the converted one, guys. Don't get confused. It says Nevada converted. So I'm going to go Control F here. Type in multi-lay, just like that. And it's going to take me to my foliage multi-layer. And what happens then, here you can see the layers that's inside your density file. The density map ID is 271, and you'll find that that is your fruit density file. So, um, so all these layers are layers on top of one another um, that gives the different... So each layer has a has a fruit. So very important to have this um, structure here. So wheat is first, grass, canola, barley. So you need to keep this structure in your new map R3D. All right. So we want to um, have a look. Just open our new map R3D, which will be this one here. Also open with Notepad++. Plus plus. And you can pause the video and have a look here on top. So this is mods. If you see the mods folder, Nevada SA, you can immediately um, see that it's the new map. All right. And I'm going to do the same search here. Multi-lay. Find next. And here you can see my new map has not got the multi-fruit on. So, but immediately you will recognize that our layer structure is the wrong way. So we need to, first of all, align it. So we have wheat, grass, canola, barley. So it is wheat, canola, barley. So I can take that. Control X. Go here to the top. Make a few lines open here. Whoops. Like that. And then just drop this here on top. Control V. So it's wheat, canola, barley. All right. So but we need to s make sure it's wheat, grass canola barley so we want to go uh, wheat grass we want to grab grass control x so it's wheat enter home control v I have wheat grass canola barley all right so we just arrange it the same so now it's maize digo foliage potato sugar beet maize digo foliage maize control x control v 
decode foliage, control X, control V, potato, control X, control V. So it's, I can actually just delete that line now because we finished there. I'm just going to grab it so it's wheatgrass. So it is barley, it's maize, decode foliage, potato. So it's maize, decode foliage, potato, sugar beet. So it's sugar beet, sunflower, soybean. Okay. Sugar beet. Control X. Control V. Sunflower. Control X. And soybean. Soybean. So it's very important to have these layers just the same so that your density um, map is not confused. Otherwise, if you if you have it as it was, uh, the first layer was deco foliage, so you're going to have foliage growing in your fields, you know, uh, which shouldn't be there, you know, so that type of thing. Right, so we were at uh, soybean, right, soybean, so soybean, soybean, there it is. So then it's oilseed radish, poplar, and then bush 01, oilseed radish. Um, where is this? This is my new one. So it's oilseed radish, control X. V and then bush 01. Now Dico Bush, Bush 01 became Dico Bush. So we're going to put that in Bush 01's place. It's just a different name for that layer, guys. So it's all seed radish, poplar, bush 01. All seed radish, poplar. We need poplar in there. So poplar, forgot about poplar. Control V. Soybean oscillator popular deco bush. Okay, soybean oscillator popular bush. Now the bush of one winter, guys, is a um, because Nevada had the seasons mod on it or the seasons edition. Um, it needed the bush of one winter. So what we're gonna do because we don't have, we're gonna put this unused deco layer there. All right, so we're going to control X that and drop that in the place of, of that. And you'll see the foliage XML ID 390 is of deco foliage. So it's an unused deco layer. So it, it will, won't, will, will just blank out that layer so that it doesn't, doesn't get confused. So the next thing obviously is oat, sugarcane and cotton. All right, oat, sugarcane, cotton. Oat, sugarcane, cotton. So we can take all three of those, drop them here, like so. Back into lavender, carrot, onion, rye, millet, poppy, sorghum. Okay, so the next one will be. I've still got sorghum there, but now I remember now this map does not have um, multi fruit on it. So this sorghum here. We're going to just leave for the rest of the um, structure like that. So, meadow. So, cotton was the last that we had there. And then started all the clover, coffee, hemp pops, mustard. Yeah, that was all the multi fruit. So, all we need to do now is just leave it as is, and the rest will be fine. So, meadow, sorghum, olive, and grape. Remember, we, we, we're trying to fit into the existing this map the density file on this map all right so what we need to do now is save this i3d like that all right and then we're going to go to the map directory and pull out um, the old the converted one find that uh, map folder and we're going to find the fruit multi uh, the, the density map fruit mm density there we go copy that control C into our map the new map into data and density map fruit so we're gonna just paste this in here now what I normally do guys is I grab I grab this um, this file and I just rename it so first of all I just click it once and then I click it after a second again so I can copy this name control C and then once I've copied it I just put a one there so the game won't recognize it or the i3d won't recognize it so i've got a backup of it now and then uh density map fruit i just 
click do the same there control V so density map fruits now takes its place but now we're not done with it now so there it is so this is still the FS19 one guys so we need to now convert this thing over to FS22 now in order to do that we're going to go into the GRE converter and we're going to convert that density file and normally this file works nicely you drop it on the convert command not on the on the exe so you drop it there saving and then press enter and then hopefully you will have it there so if you've seen that then it means all is well so now i can just delete this one for now or uh yeah i can just delete it because i have got a backup of the original uh, which was there there it is I can actually delete both them as well doesn't really matter so now we're going to go back to our R3D for our map uh, let's just see mods Nevada so that's our map R3D and we're going to go in uh, control V just paste the name in there so it can find that for us all right so in the files ID section not another section guys in the files id section you rename the gdm to a png all right because we've just converted that to png save the i3d and now what's going to happen is when we open the the map now the map i3d it will see that it needs to use this uh converted uh density file and it's going to convert that density file into our new structure but our new structure now is organized uh, uh, alongside of the old maps uh, 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 um, structure if I if you if you understand what I mean so now I can just come close first of all let's just have a look at the console if there's errors because I was supposed to see flowers and stuff now maybe there is some errors I don't know It is my Nevada one. Did I put it in the right thing now? <laughs> oh, there it is. The foliage are there, guys. I was just going to say, my word, what happened? <laughs> okay, good stuff. Oh, it was just too high in the air. So our foliage is there. And you can see our fields are open. There's nothing planted in the fields. These square blocks are the fields. It's a lot of open blocks. So don't, don't worry too much about um, that for now. We are going to get back to that with our um the other density file which is the density file for uh, the 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 um the fields all right so we're going to just save this as is so when we save now guys the the i3d the editor is going to create a new density file for the fruit and we can close that once it's done and now let's open that data file and you'll see whoop there it is a brand new density map fruit and now we can delete this one but the most important thing is to come back to your i3d reload it yes and then rename that png back to gdm because otherwise it will not see your new um, density map fruits the one that i wanted to say was um, density map ground is your fields so once you have your fields in the it should all be well all right so if i open now um we're going to follow the same process now with the density map ground so the next thing to do is to chuck in the uh go back to the old one the old map which is nevada converted find the density map ground uh cultivator density that's the density map ground guys <laughs> just think on the cultivator cultivator is worked on the field so we just copy this one control c bring that over to um, the new one density map ground there it is so i'm just going to paste that in the directory here and we're going to do the same thing i'm going to copy that control c and then i can delete that boop like so two clicks on there control v paste it in there like so so now we've renamed the density map or the cultivated density into density map fruit not density map ground sorry there it is <laughs> that's our fruit it's just because we deleted the one it moved up 
and the same thing we need to convert that into the convert command right there we go density map ground so this one now we can delete because it's all used now and we now have the PNG so back to the XML find for us actually it should be right here density map ground but anyway I don't see it now but let's just find it it's much easier there it is it was here right below it <laughs> it's the same same draw PNG just save it as a PNG and then back to the map uh, maps and then open the R3D and hopefully if all goes well we should now see the result of our our, our fields and our ground so let's just have a look if that works and there it is guys all right so simple and easy looking good no shiny stuff F things that look horrible you know nothing of the kind looking good all right so now all we need to do now is save the map once again i do this one at a time you can do it obviously multiple of them convert them and then like do two or three of them you know but I'll, just to go through the whole process and make you see how the things take shape you know um it's just nice to see that so we go back to once we've saved and closed we go back to the map rename or restart or whatever double click the png and go to gdm like so so the next thing is our density map height um, so we've done ground we've done fruit and now we need to do height that's the three that we need to bring over from the old map so now save the map so let's do the last one then back to the old map we find uh, density fruit density forest forest dark uh, info layers it should be one right at the bottom terrain detail height density there it is all right so to read terrain detail height density now sometimes these things doesn't work nicely and and they don't convert over here or, or convert when you want to convert so density map height is that one so what we want to do is paste that one in here and then go to density map height control c delete it and terrain detail height becomes density map height control v just like so so density map height now we convert that one density map height i could have actually just converted them in the old directory you know but it just makes more sense um do it this way around you know so now that we have the png file we delete the original back into the xml density map height find that there it is and now we just go png there tell it to use the png and let the i3d and the editor create us a brand new density map height file good so hopefully now we should now have some stuff going here oh. let me just check the console is there any errors always good to have a, a error check when you do stuff like this I don't see any errors, but anyways. Right, so I think um, that is fine. So let's just save it. Um, that is our power that just went out. So our inverter kicked in. So we are totally happy. <laughs> no interruptions. So once that is now saved, I can just save and close it. Nice go back into the folder just make sure now density map height density map height there it is created a new one let's delete the PNG and reload it and rename back to GDM good all right now
Now the wheat, I know for a fact, um, the wheat is a problem. If you do the wheat, sometimes you run into an error, but we can give it a try. Um, I know, I know for a fact, I definitely had some problems in the past with the density wheat, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Control C. It's easy to revert um, density map wheat. Control V. All right. So what we're going to do? Density map wheat. Just click on it twice. Here we go. Copy that. And for this one, I'm just going to keep the original here, just for fun, and rename this one to density map wheat, like so. All right. So we have density map wheat backup and then the original or, or not the original but the, the the one from the old map convert it for us it doesn't look like there's any problems saving density press any con key to continue um, it, it's yet to be seen guys so now I delete that to original leave the PNG back to the XML Density map wheat, it is there. We change that to PNG. Save it up. Back into the map. And then open the I3D. Let's have a look if it uh, if it will convert it for us. Or create a new one rather. And uh, console. Uh, this modless download failed it's just because our internet is now off. Um, it takes a dip for a few minutes because the power in town is now off. So they change over to batteries and whatever. So I don't see any errors here for density map, whatever. So we can just um, save it. And by the way, those uh, warnings there, they are normal for any map it's out of range and what 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 so don't worry about that too much it is oh yeah there's placeables in this blank spots that is why um, you don't see it like that you know so our next thing is our weight files and ground textures that's the big the big job guys now I'm going to show you a shortcut there which makes life so much easier. So I'm going to just close here and say, uh, um, don't forget to rename that density file once again and delete the old. So reload and rename. So now we should go back to uh, GDM. So all of that is now done and dusted. Um, ground foliage. Ground foliage. Ground, ground foliage. This is a layer that's not in FS19, so we, we can't use that one, unfortunately. Just want to have a check here in the old map. Uh, forest. Fruit density cultivator. That is basically the ones that we can bring over. There's no the others info layers we don't need tip collision we don't need is so we're going to generate those fresh um, the info layers oh yeah the farmland is another one that we can bring over guys um, which is just at the moment let's not worry about the farmland because we're not there yet all right so let's carry on we're going to do the ground textures now which um, is there is a shortcut for that. And I'm going to show you the shortcut because it's just so much easier. So in, in your your converted map, go on to the top. Um, and the easiest will probably be to open the map, the converted map, and see. Make sure your your thing is, your, your view is sorted by name or, or by um, alphabetically. All right, so under sort... Just make it ascending, you see, so it starts at A. So Animal Mud 01 is our first one. So we're going to go Control-C there. Now this is important, the weight files 
is very important to have the weight files. Um, the other thing we need to check is the size of the weight files. I wonder if I could just hold my mouse. It's 2048 on these weights on the converted ones. You see, so this is one of the things that is nice. And I think if we go to the original, I can't remember if the original was 1024. Maybe the originals was 2048. I can't remember. But you can verify that. But they need to be the same size. Um, obviously, in the new map, if you go there, uh, Animal Mud, it's 2048. You see, so those ones we can just copy over because they just wait files. So all the wait files um, can work. But now we have Animal Mud, Asphalt, beach sand this is the weights that's in the map so we need to verify now in here control f control v animal mud weight so we just want to get to the section where the weights start okay um and then just have a browse so most of these we can we can relay into um into new new textures so what happens is the the weight file is basically saying to them to the map or the, the the game where animal mud is on the map so if you look at this weight files they're all blank but if you go to the old map you'll see they've got data in them showing the game where all the that specific um texture is so rough dirt has got four weights and that is all places where rough dirt is now how the weight files work all the weight files in your whole map directory forms forms one layer on the terrain of ground texture so you will see that um, where, where one weight file puts a texture another weight file cannot have something there so you, you, you need to be careful working between the two maps you know so the easiest way is to see we've got animal mud take them one texture at a time so we're going to go grab all the animal muds copy that in fact because i'm not going to use this map again or maybe i shouldn't um i shouldn't cut them i'm just going to copy them Control c go back in this way and then just overwrite these animal muds all right so replace that full so we know the animal mud weights is done um the next one is asphalt 01 weights all right so asphalt 01 weights have we got asphalt we've got asphalt alpine 01 so what we want to do now is grab this four asphalts control shift like that control c and then just drop asphalt alpine here control v and then what we're going to do is we're just going to rename so we're going to take that one, copy it, select it, delete it. And then go in here, the click once and paste it. So we're renaming these weights to Asphalt Alpine. All right. So what's going what's gonna to happen now? Um, this after open one now. So what's going to happen is the Asphalt Alpine texture is going to be overwritten by this uh, um, this texture is going to be overwritten by the asphalt alpine you know so we're going to just work through this one at a time control c ov like that okay and so now i need to delete that one and then overwrite it first like so and the same with number three copy it delete the blank one paste it right and then lastly C delete and then L from 4 so now we've got um, Asphalt Alpine in its place so this is a shortcut guys it goes very quick beach sand luckily we've got beach sand right so beach sand 01 to 04 hold shift and then just click Control C to copy back here, but beach sand wet. So we're going to do the same with that. Control V. And these are blank, by the way, guys. So it doesn't really matter. 
So beach sand and beach sand wet. I'm going to copy that. Delete. Okay, so beach sand 2, beach sand wet 02. Uh, because they blank, guys, um, I'm just checking. Let's just see if they are blank. This is beach sand wet 02. Beach sand 02. Alright, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's just chuck the beach sand rest of them. So beach sand wet, because they're blank, it doesn't matter because there's nothing written in the thing. So concrete 01. So our next one is a beach sand wet. Why is there so many beach sands here? One, two, three, four. Wet. Oh, that's got beach sand wet. Oh my word! All right, so it doesn't matter because that one's blank. So let's just overwrite beach sand wet. <laughs> I never saw that. All right, so overwrite Control V, replace the four. Good. And just to have a quick check, guys, if your weight files is different from um, from the new ones. Let us just have a quick browse. So I've now changed uh, um, animal mud and I've changed beach sand wet and those things. So if I get any errors on them now, it means that they are different. Then we need to convert them, which is a terrible, terrible, sad thing if it's the case. So let us just have a browse. It will tell you that it's got a problem with that um, weight file. No, they are all good. So no need to worry, you can just carry on um, pushing, all, putting all over uh, from the one to the other map. Alright, so here we go. Cobblestone. Now I know for a fact we don't have cobblestone on our map. Uh, let me just have a look. Concrete, because this is the Alpine map. But I know the French map does have cobblestone. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to... I don't have cobblestone concrete yeah so what we're going to do is grab the f cobblestones beach sand wet so cobblestone the four cobblestone there's only three cobblestones but this cobblestones aren't used there's nothing in it so it, it means I can ignore the cobblestones as well because our new map doesn't have cobblestone. So it doesn't really matter because there's nothing in it in any way in the old map. All right, so concrete, definitely. Concrete 04, control uh, shift up to there, control C, concrete. Let's have a look of concrete. We've got concrete, yes. It should want to replace the 4 nice so there it is um, concrete dirt and concrete gravel they are also there I'm sure concrete dirt and concrete gravel you see both of these can come control C bring it over replace that too very nice then we've got concrete tiles which doesn't matter I know this map doesn't have concrete tiles but we have forest ground 01 up to forest ground 04. All right, so forest ground uh, 01 up to 04. All right, so forest ground up to 04. Shift, control C. They look blank, but sometimes don't think they're blank, guys. Don't, uh, do open it and make sure. Because sometimes it looks like they're blank and then they're not. They've got one or two little specks somewhere <laughs> on the map, you know. And then we've got Forest Ground US 01, which you can see clearly it's a single texture being used, not a multi-texture. Multi but there's four of them, so I'm going to go just copy them, Control c just drop them in here. Forest Ground US. Ah, this map has got Forest Ground US. Okay replace nice 
All right. I didn't know that we have got forest ground UVs. But this is my uh, flat map. I think I have added a few textures um, that are um, sort of ma to make your conversions easier anyway. So grass 01 is the next one. Up to grass 04. Shift. Oh, that's sorry. It's not grass. It's forest leaves. Make sure it's blank. Forest leaves 02 is blank. So that doesn't matter. So we're not going to worry about forest leaves because, of course, I don't think we have got forest leaves on this side. Forest ground. No forest leaves. But we have got some leaves, I think. Uh, that's mountain, rock, river, bed, rough, dead, river, stone, gravel, grass, gravel, moss, gravel, dust. No. All right. But because they're empty, I'm not going to worry about them. Then we've got grass 01 up to grass 04, which also are empty. So that doesn't matter. Grass dry doesn't matter. And there's only three grass dries. This is a very weird setup. But anyway, grass rough, there's four grass roughs. Copy those four. Control C. And I think this is where we're going to start having a problem. So grass rough, um, that is basically almost the whole map. So I'm going to change the grass roughs into uh, grass alpine. All right, so I'm going to paste them in here. All right, so grass rough 01, uh, so it's grass alpine, control C, Delete that. Come here. Control V. Doop. All right. Cross L point two. Control C. Delete. Cross rough. Overwrite that. Becomes cross alpine. Same here. Copy. Delete. Control V. All right. Copy. Delete. And then overwrite. So now cross rough in my map has now become grass alpine you see that's how easy it is now the next thing is grass town grass town I definitely think I don't have so I'm going to copy that once again control C grass town um, in FS19 was a very uh, it's just a texture for the ground guys it's nothing mm. that sticks out of the ground it's not foliage it's just textures on the ground so don't worry about that too much Grass cliff, I know it's a horrible texture. I'm not going to use that. Uh, grass, dry, grass, dry, patchy. Uh, so let's I just paste it in here for now. Grass down. I'm going to make it grass dry. Let's just make it grass. Just normal grass. Yes, here we go. So grass down can just become grass. All right. So grass 01, the same drill with that. Control C, grass down. Uh, sorry, grass 01, I need to delete. Grass down, overwrite. Overwrite. So grass 01 is now grass down. All right. So grass 02, control C, grass down. I keep wanting, forgetting to delete, guys. <laughs> grass down. Uh, 02 becomes grass 02. All right. Uh, grass 03 control C delete grass down 03 control V so what we're doing is just replacing control C delete and grass down control 4 so grass down has now become just grass okay good stuff uh, and then gravel 01 I know we have gravel so shift the control C the weights for gravel should be there somewhere. We should have gravel, gravel. Oh, this one is the is the. Um, I'm just going to paste it in here. Oh, there is four gravels. Good. I was just wondering where are the gravels because there's many gravels in the US map, and I've added a lot of the other maps textures in into my flat map. You know, so it, it just does make it easier to convert. So that's gravel leaves now leaves um, is only one weight file 
um, the map DE have a ground leave or forest leave or something so we're gonna copy that leaves weight is there anything else I don't see any other leaves all right so let's see what leaves have we got here so once again it's a single texture uh, forest ground I know the forest ground in um, you know, that forest ground US so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in here and I'm quickly going to show you how to reroute it so now we have a weight file that is not in our map so we need to add it um, so we're going to go into the in-game maps uh, FS22 data the French maps are no map if are definitely if we find that uh, open with notepad bus bus um, okay that's the i3d open and now we're going to data just find forest ground forest leaves there it is forest ground leaves you see so you've got forest ground leaves um, ground leaves all right so we need to create a a uh, wait for it control C so we're going to copy the for um, sorry we don't need to copy it yeah we have to uh, we have to copy the weights control C and luckily uh, if I think it doesn't look like they're blank yeah they are not blank so unfortunately we can't copy the the blank weights but what we can do is go into our map we have now they've got the leaves weight but what we want to do is find blank weights um, so what you can do is have a look at any blank blank weight you have copy it and just duplicate them but I do already have some blank weights here um, sorry guys my wife just dropped me some coffee here which is so nice um, so desktop map stuff and then I have blank weights oh look at this forest ground <laughs> there's already some blank weights named forest ground so I'm just gonna drop this into my map I uh, hope I don't have forest grounds here control V no I don't all right so these four blank weights um, and we're going to rename them now to I can close that over to forest ground leaves wait all right so copy that and then into our map overwrite this four control V so that's one that's two all right come on that's number three so all I do is rename the the end of the name because they're all for the same and I'm just renaming the end of the name so that's number four all right there you go so these are forest ground leaves four of them and now I need to go grab this name copy that click on it delete it and then go into our leaves or the weight rename this control V so this will now become forest ground uh, leaves forest ground leaves where is it now cross cliff cross cliff what happened to it now why don't I see it <laughs> forest ground forest ground leaves there it is forest ground leaves 01 so that's a single layer for forest ground leaves but now we have to add this now to our i3d and that's why I have the the i3d open here so we can now find uh, f find is this the French map yes so that's the forest ground leaves we don't want the weight we need the um, textures for that we already oh we actually need the weight sorry guys because we've created them so we're going to copy this four weight files control c back into our maps i3d mods nevada right on top of your file structure make some um, space paste it in there and put two zeros at the end of each file ID so that it becomes the highest number in the list so there's no other file ID like that so we are gonna just add two zeros to everything so that's our four weights now done um, but we need to reroute this into our 
um, map folder which I think if I'm correct will only be data so from our map where our i3d is this is our map mods Nevada so where our map i3d is our data folder is in there and the four weights are in there there it is forest ground leaves so we need to go uh, just data and then leaves all right so from the i3d directory so it is just data and then forest ground leaves the weight so the four weights we can just delete that make sure the names are correct just like that good stuff so now we have the weights in now we need the textures guys we have to add the textures to our map as well so forest ground leaves back into the french map to find the textures so these are textures there should be eight of them so two pairs as a diffuse and a normal and then four sets so copy all eight of them up to four Control C, back into our I3D, Control V, add them there. And remember, we add zeros, two zeros to each file ID. That way, we know there's not going to be anything like it in the in the I3D structure or, or the file ID structure. So it's 15,000. So if you go down to your scroll down here and you check your file IDs, you'll note that they all only in the hundreds I don't have anything in the thousands so I know for a fact 14,000 15,000 is more than what's available you know to worry about now uh, now we need to go back to the uh, map f the French map and now we need to add the layers um, the ground textures so what we want to do now is forest leaves click just below our last search carry on so now we are in the layer manager you see layer attributes and in the layer manager now the forest leaves we need to copy all four of those great control c this is where it becomes very important to to keep track guys uh, back into our map now our map i3d and what i do here is easiest is to just type in multi lay find next and it will take you back to our foliages so if you scroll up from there you just be above the farmlands you'll get to your textures here here they are ground drafted whatever so once again at the bottom of the layer don't do this one on top just at the bottom of the layer go home and just paste them in there now we need to do three we we, we now have on top remember we have eight um, eight texture files and four weight files so they are here detail map id normal map id so your so your diffuse your normal and then your weight map id remember we just added zeros so all these rows we just add zeros there and it will all line up with the numbers that we already have the normal maps so we just add two zeros to each number be sure not to make any mistakes here guys because one typo will render your i3d unusable and it won't start up in the in the map that's why i never close my i3d i save it but i don't close it because i can also always go Control z Control z until i've undone all my changes save again and then i'm safe you know <laughs> but do before you do any of these things in your map i3d do make a backup of your current map you know it's always good to a uh, good practice before you fiddle with your i3d make a backup you will thank me later i promise you <laughs> okay so now back to our textures so forest ground leaves might have a multi-layer uh, um, um, a combined layer so let's just have a look if uh, forest ground leaves forest ground leaves it does these forest leaves okay so now we copy the multi-layer control c you don't have to do that because in this case it was only one layer so it doesn't really matter we only used the first um thing there so i'm gonna go below that combined layer press home control v and add the last combined layer there all right so there's nothing here to modify because they all are in place now these are forest ground leaves we've added the zeros just to show you 
the normal, uh, the diffuse map will be 14100. The diffuse map for the first one, forest grid, forest ground leaves 01. So if I now s look on top, 14100, forest ground leaves, the diffuse file ID is 14100. Can you see the diffuse? All right, so that's how, how it works, guys. So now that we've added all those, we just save the R3D. And like I said, don't close it, keep it open. Go into our map. Uh, and just close this. For some reason, I can't access this now. And now we open this once again. I just want to mute my uh, sound, because otherwise I'm going to have all these little notes and stuff pop up here pretty annoying and have a look have a look here if there's any errors if the oh here we go terrain weight map forest ground leaves 01 it's the incorrect size uh, weight size why is that forest ground leaves 01 weight dot png it's got the incorrect size okay so here is now where it's interesting guys we don't save the map we just close because you first want to fix the problem so back into our data file have a look at that little weight file why is this one it says 1024 and the other ones are obviously 2048 so that is a problem but it's a good thing because now uh, we can fix the problem so let us open this up in um but this for f actually to do this we need to go into GIMP I can't do this in um, you have to open it with GIMP you can't do that in paint.net you probably can I'll, I'm not too sure how to it's too difficult uh, I haven't figured it out I'll just use GIMP for this type of work all right now oh they want to know create a license GIMP which for you uh, download uh, not now Okay, so what we're going to do is, I think it's Control R. Is it Control R? No, it is image, uh, scale image. So we want to go up 2048. All right. So we double that. All right. Uh, click on this little thing of a bobby here. And then we have to double the resolution. So it is 144, like so. 144. Now the interpolation here, I can't remember if it's cubic or it's none. Um, what interpolation does? It's uh, um, it's how it how it puts it. It wasn't cubic. Uh, I can't remember now. Um, let us just have a look. If I where's the zoom on this? It's zoom in. If I quickly zoom in here, close. What happens to this? pixels if, if they stay the same all right so let's scale it and then have a look I just want to zoom out a little bit now they actually look very good all right so cubic was the right one to stay on so all we're gonna do now is go file and then export as very important forest ground weight you're just gonna overwrite it over itself you're going to replace and here where it says you can leave it um, it is weight files so they should be in grayscale if you look at there on top it's the grayscale so go into 8 bit uh, 8 bit gray like that one just select 8 bit gray all the rest you can just leave as is and now we should be fine so I'm going to leave this open in case we need to modify that once more in case something is still wrong so now if we look now at our file now it is 2048 good okay let's have a quick browse one folder back open our map once again and see if the error is still there and that is how you add a texture that is not in your um, thing into your map any errors it's all happy with our new texture and now you can immediately see we now are starting to get some roads and dirt and all kinds of things into our map it's starting to somehow resemble something you know 
Look at the sand, the sand or the ground. Yeah, it's starting to get there. But we're not done with all the weight files, guys. We're still, we're still um, busy with that. So let's continue. We got stuck now there showing you the process of adding one weight file, you know. Good. All right. Back into our uh, data folder. Down to our map here. Where is it? Wait for where we got stuck. Gravel. Uh, where is that thing now? It was grass dry. Grass town. Leaves weight. There it is. All right. So our next thing is Mountain Rock 01. Mountain Rock Dark. So we've got Mountain Rock and Mountain Rock Dark. Now I. If I rem I'm going to close this in game once. If I remember correctly, this map doesn't have mountain rock. It does, it does. Mountain rock and mountain rock dark. So at least we've got a mountain rock and a mountain rock dark. But let me just see if one of them is not used or did I use both of them? I used unfortunately used both of them now once again um, we can copy all four I'm gonna do them one at a time one set at a time again so these ones we know we have so we should just overwrite the mountain rocks four of them Boop, just like that did I now save that map oh my word I hope I didn't save the map guys it is very important um, not to save your map when you open it that is very sad oh I did save it oh my word I shouldn't have saved it <whistles> what happens when you save your map it actually writes everything into um, the weight files the way your, 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 your map is and, and like I said all the weights forms one set of um, ground textures so you have to do the whole process finish the whole process before you open the map and save it unfortunately I've forgotten about that so you can immediately see my whole i3d has changed it, it's scrambled it into the right places it's renamed the file IDs to, to work correctly um, unfortunately I forgot sorry guys so just make a note of that do not save your map before you finish with all the weight files <laughs> okay so mountain rock mountain rock um, and then mountain rock dark is a problem because we don't have mountain rock dark um, control C so the same drill is gonna go for mountain rock dark uh, control V just drop that in there now we need to go find once again um, the map FR is the one with the rocks I think control F if I just go to the top control F mountain I think the, the FR map has got the mountain rock dark mountain rock let me just add rock there for the search yes there it is mountain rock dark so same drill guys we need to add the weights uh, control into our map unfortunately i forgot about that and you can um, add these and not worry because um, you can only say you only need to save it once you're done with the whole process you know all right so, and so the next thing obviously is mountain rock here it is mountain rock dark the six diffusers and we leave these in game guys the textures stay in game you don't need it in your map folder remember I said um, to save space you don't need to copy these textures they can stay in game they're never going to change directory or path it's always going to stay in there so we've got to copy them over into our map like so and then just add the zeros very important All right, mountain rock dark, and then this four weight files we need to just root back to our map. 
because we got them in our map and we just need to verify that the names are correct because if there's one spelling mistake you'll get an error that says it can't find the weight file you know that type of stuff uh, oh there they are all four weights already so it's mountain rock it's mountain cap R cap D alright so let's just have a check here mountain cap R cap D O one one weight okay so it looks it, it all looks kosher <laughs> okay back to the um, French map found find mountain rock and those four are oh, the dark layers not the other ones control C back to our map um, and then the easiest like I said uh, multi-lay find that and then just scroll up a wee bit past the farmlands up to the bottom here forest ground there's the last layer control V paste them in there and then once again uh, the zeros in the three sets of IDs very important and then our weights it's actually much easier adding um, ground textures this way than to try and do it in the multi the, the texture the terrain layer thingamabobby you know Okay, mountain rock dark. Does it have a combined layer? Mountain rock dark. It's got rock dark. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, the noise you're hearing here next to me is my dog. We've got the Labrador and he is like wanting some attention. So he's talking with me. <laughs> he's standing here wagging his tail. And oh, he's still trying to get my attention because he wants just a rub, you know. Give him a quick rub here on the back. He loves it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good. Okay. And then he's happy. He's off again. Rock dock. So mountain rock, the four. We've done all the zeros. Um, that's all there, all there, all there. And I'm going to save. Uh, save the i3D here. It's all right. Because we need to open that in the map all right so that is fine we've got the weight files in mountain rock so that's all fine all right so mud so the next one will be um mud dark oh one mud dark oh two mud dark mud dark did i have mud dark i don't think i used mud dark nope it's all black so i think we can skip mud dark we do have just m one mud here, which is a single layer texture. Then pathway, let's see what's next. So mud dog, plate. Okay, plate is another one that we have used. Plate, four of them. Control C, up here. Plate, I have plate here. Paste it in, very nice, easy to go. Plate damaged, luckily I didn't use that, because I don't think there's plate damaged in the next one. So Riverstone Bank, we definitely used four of them. And then there's a Riverstone Bank Water and Ri Riverstone Bank Water Edge. So let's just have a look. Uh, Riverstone Bank, there's four of them. Riverstone Bank Water and Water Edge. So there's six textures that we can bring over. So four, five, six up to there. Control C and then just drop it in here. And it should ask to press six. That way we know up oh, all is well. All the textures are there. All, all, all the weight files are there. Then rough dirt. Now rough dirt. There's four of them. Then we have a rough dirt bright. Did we use this rough dirt bright? Oh, we did. Hmm. I wonder what rough dirt bright is. That is that is a texture that is. Oh, and look at the the size of that weight file. How did this work? It's like double the size. That is wrong. It's going to complain. Right. So let's just do the rough dirt, dirt first. Control C. Up here. Control V. So we have rough dirts. That is very nice. I'm happy with that. And then lastly now these bright things. Um, these are custom. Custom textures. So they are going to be in the map directory I think. So we're going to have to have a look at that. 
We just want to have a quick browse at the rest of them. Soil. Doesn't look like I've used soil. Stone floor. Don't think I've used that. Vehicle mud. I can see I haven't used any of this vehicle. Oh, the puddle. The puddle of definitely water puddle I did. But vehicle mud puddle I didn't. Alright, so so all we still need to do is this rough dirt bright. And it's a good thing this is showing up because we are going to convert this four. So I'm going to copy them into our folder here. Rough dirt bright. Um, I'm going to I'm going to add um, this rough dirt. Maybe we should have a look at them in the actual map folder. So they are rough dirt bright, and I think if I look here it will be under textures terrain yeah here they are um, they are 512 sized and I know I think um, they need to be converted to um, 1024 s I think is the ground texture sizes for um, in game so let's just have a quick browse at the in game textures it's data maps textures or uh, textures there it is and then terrain ground oh mind you this is not the ground that we are thinking of so it's maps um, maps us for instance and then textures and then terrain here we go this is our terrain textures and they are you can't see the size of these things unless you have a little program that can hopefully um, show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take animals because they all are the same sizes so they are unknown so let's just open one to see what size they are uh, they are 1024 yes yeah, so it's ground textures are 1024 I, I was going to say it must be 1024 so I can replace them actually just by um, just by changing their names into something that's already already in the game you know so uh, because they I've actually used them quite a bit I wonder where I used them this is open one it looks like I've used them on the streets you know very strange I don't recognize them uh, don't recognize them at all where they work because they seem like s weird that they are in this different spots because I know the map uh, I don't have four corners where there are squares on the map so This is definitely not my maps textures uh, or weight files. So uh, I'm not going to bring them in, guys. I'm just going to leave them because they're not in the map. Um, I think the map will be fine without them. But we do definitely going to do water puddle. But if you want to uh, do a custom texture, I can quickly just show you how to convert one of them. Uh, in fact, I have made a full video on that how to properly convert uh, FS19 to FS22 ground textures so just have a search on my channel you will find it there watch the video because I show in detail how to convert them you have to do the diffuse and the normal all eight of them um, I show the whole process there so I'm not no need to do it again you know and in this case we're not going to use it so rather let's just leave them alone um, this is now Nevada SA. So I'm going to delete them again. Yeah, rough dirt bright. Because they're not they they're definitely not um usable, you know. Mods, yeah, it's the right place. I just don't want to delete the wrong spot. Alright, back to Nevada a map and then in here at the bottom we were at rough dirt bright and we've decided that these aren't in the thing so water puddle I think water puddle is definitely uh, in the gap so let us copy that in here and I do have a water puddle definitely in there based and there you are 
And believe it or not, all the textures are done, guys. Just like that. And I think for the first video of the series, we're we going to end here. But remember now, we've done some changes on the R3D once again. And those changes have not been um, omitted in the R3D. So we, we're going to open the map one time and just check for errors. And if all is well, we're going to save it and then we are done. And that's the only time you, you save your map is once you're done with all the textures and all the weight files, you save the map. Because if you, if you don't do that, you will save the map and it will save textures and stuff uh, um, where it shouldn't or uh, the weight, it will change the weight file so it, it's going to be looking weird and wrong. Great, man. I love it guys this is so awesome man look at that these the whole maps ground textures done this is not foliage guys not foliage yet the foliage is there um, so definitely all going strong what was that oh it's the grass it's a nice long grass I like that grass is it what is this I hope it's grass uh, why is this thing so big? This one is small. Control R. If you go into your foliage, you control R. Just to scope it. Deco foliage. Control R. Grass harvest ready. Yeah, it is big grass. And this is big life. Chernobyl, whatever. Okay, good stuff, man. And then one click quick view at your console just to make sure that we don't have any weight errors there very important guys do not save your map if you have weight errors cause, or anything because then you can't go back so if I had a problem there now I can quickly go fix maybe I made a typo here or something I can quickly fix this because look at it it's not saved yet so I can just close the map without saving fix the problem reopen it and check again for errors and if all is well I can save the map and I'm going to say yes and then now it's going to reload and have a look at, at our uh, things that we've added here it's all going to get scrambled and there's mountain rock now with the correct in the correct spot with the right file IDs everything nicely organized neatly done renamed and sorted out and all done <laughs> wonderful great guys so i really hope you enjoyed this first episode of our map conversion how to convert the map if it's something that you like do remember to like i really appreciate that and for for my patreons a big big thank you to you guys that support my channel if you are really enjoying my stuff do consider jumping on my patreon and just blessing me i really appreciate all you guys that support me it does help me to carry on and make the videos and yeah you know, just keep keep everyone interested you know so thank you so much guys have a wonderful awesome day guys you have a fantastic weekend and um, day or week whenever you watch the video it doesn't matter enjoy yourself and i'll catch you on the next one cheers